friends. Happy Thursday. It's Pastor Karen with Thoughtful Thursday. Um, a couple weeks ago, I talked about the beginning of the new year and whether you are a person that um, sets resolutions or goals. And um, so I guess we're what in the third week of the month now going into the third week and I'm wondering how you're doing. <laughs> with those resolutions. Um, and I told you then that I um, started a practice several years ago where I really work to choose a word for the year. Instead of setting a goal, I, I try to spend some time in prayer and discernment and trying to understand maybe um, what God is trying to say to me and how I might kind of wrap that all up um, in a word. And I told you a couple weeks ago, I wasn't really exactly sure what my word was. I was still kind of wrestling around with that. And, um, and I still am, um, but I do have it narrowed down. So I just wanted to share a little bit with you about where my journey has been um, in the last couple months. Um, maybe, I don't know, in the, in the summer or so, I had a dream and I don't usually remember them. And I certainly don't remember them enough to be able to spend any amount of time wondering what it meant. But I had this this um, dream and usually around four o'clock in the morning. So um, that's just when I know that it's probably God speaking around four. And, um, and I kept hearing over and over in my head. I didn't know necessarily that it was God's voice. I just kept hearing over and over. I'm doing a new thing. A new thing is coming. I'm doing a new thing. A new thing. Watch for a new thing. Um, over and over and over again to the point where I was like, okay, got it. Like it must've been awake enough to be able to say, okay, I understand what you're saying. Um, I even got out of bed thinking that might kind of like break up this kind of constant um, um, barrage of, of, of conversation that was coming at me. Um, I kept hearing over and over again, I'm doing a new thing. I'm doing a new thing. And I really needed to hear that at that time because I was really struggling as I, looked to finish up school and um, just was feeling restless in the middle of the pandemic. Um, you know, we had already been several months into it and I was just feeling like, what the heck am I supposed to be doing? Um, and so I felt peace and comfort that I trusted again that God is doing a new thing. Um, and I kind of put it on the back shelf and, and I wondered about it every once in a while and I thought, okay, I'm going to just put that, you know, down the road a little bit. Um, and then um, those new things started to happen. So I have started a new job soon, um, new ideas um, for, for church. Um, and if you're a member of Lima Church, um, you know that our memory verse for January, which I didn't have any um, part of choosing. Pastor Dory chose the memory verse um, for this month, but the memory verse is Isaiah 43, verse 19. And it says, um, for I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create river, rivers in the dry wasteland. And so I've talked about this before, but one of the things I love to do is to just read the Bible passage or the scripture in, um, in different translations or paraphrases of the Bible. And so sometimes the message really kind of just speaks our language. Um, so the message version of Isaiah 43, 18 and 19 is, forget about what's happening. Don't keep going over old history. Be alert. Be present. I'm about to do something brand new. It's bursting out. Don't you see it? There it is. I'm making a road through the desert, rivers in bad lands. God says, don't you see it? <laughs> there it is, it's right there. Um, which leads me to where I think my word for the year is. Um, somewhere around being mindful, somewhere around being aware, maybe something about paying attention. Um, so I'm still working through kind of which one of those three um, speaks a little bit more to me because I don't want to miss something that God has for me, right? I don't think any of you do either. Um, and that reminds me of the, the story of Samuel, right? So Samuel is, um, is in the temple and he's, you know, 
helping out his el the elder friend um, Eli and and Samuel sleeping and he hears this voice say Samuel Samuel and so of course he gets up and he runs to Eli and he says what can I do for you I heard you call me and Eli said I didn't call you go back to bed and so this happens a couple more times Samuel Samuel and he runs to Eli until Eli realizes that God is calling Samuel <laughs> that it's God who's speaking to Samuel and if Samuel didn't know to pay attention right he didn't know to be aware and to listen and to be mindful of God's voice and so um, I know that God is doing new things in my life in your life in our world in our community in our church in our family I know that God is doing new things his scripture says it right here it is <laughs> Isaiah says it's right here don't you see it so this is a year that I don't want to miss those new things that God has promised me so I'm gonna keep working on my word I'll show you one of the things that I do I try to make um like a vision board for the year so this is my current version it still needs a little work um, but it helps me to kind of go through the internet or pictures that I might have or words and, and see what um, what kind of speaks to me about what my year is going to look like and um, looking at those new things that God is doing. So I hope you have spend some time this week um, thinking about your word, listening to God, talking to God, um, talking to other people, right? Maybe you have an Eli in your life who's going to say, that's God right there. Don't you see it? Um, and that you would share with me what your words are. I love to hear what other people have discerned their word for the year is. So um, maybe next week I'll have um, narrowed down my word and I'll be able to share that with you. Um, but I hope this week you spend some time being aware and mindful and paying attention to what God is saying to you. Have a great week, my friends.